not life. So that becomes, that elicits a trauma, fear among people and that develops a negative attitude towards elephants among the local communities. And also it's a challenge for the forest department to deal with. But think about a family, you know, getting blamed just because the breadwinner is lost his or her life. So that develops antagonism. How to address? We looked at this way. First, let us understand the problem. Now, we always try to look for a solution in the first place and try to fix the problem. That's not going to work it out. Okay. And we really need to understand the problem, what's actually happening, and move towards the solutions thing. Is there any? If there are any. So this is how we try to understand the relationships between people and elephants and identify and implement appropriate conflict mitigation measures. We definitely involve local stakeholders, that's the first department or the people themselves. And many people don't even look at how effect effective this implementation, you know. So that's we really need to understand in order to arrive at what is the effectiveness. So in order to understand this, I would like to say, okay, this is the Valpare Plateau map. And these are all rainforest fragments and these are all houses. And elephants have to negotiate through this plateau region because this is gentle undulating terrain. So it is a decade ago and now. So look, we looked at the elephant movement patterns in, you know, um, in a span of 10 years. How each of these elephant herds, which are colored in different uh, colors, so how they are actually moving through the plateau region. If you see, so this is a step air herd, what we named step air herd because individuals are identified. So there is a Monica herd, there is a uh, pigtail herd. So if you look at 10 years ago and now, elephants have shown consistent movement patterns. This has actually opened up our eyes that how elephants are consistent in using the plantation landscape, if you see both this, yeah? So this has actually helped us how best that we can approach the issue. But what happens if there is a change in the landscape? So let's go to Hassan region, other, which is a very critical thing. As you can see here, there are black polygons, what you can see, those are solar power fences. So people have started putting up solar power fences around coffee, and we looked at, as the time progresses, how these solar power fences around coffee has actually impacted elephant movements. So as solar power fences have come up around coffee estates, elephants which moved north to south and towards east, these are the only forest patches left in the Hassan region, yeah, and there is uh, monoculture plantations in between, north to south. And the solar power fences pushed up, pushed the elephant movements into neighboring areas. So now you can actually see elephants going into as far as a next forest division. So those people don't know how to deal with elephants. And nobody has actually looked at why elephants are actually reaching Chikmangur forest division thing. So, because of the landscape changes that happens, we really, because people say that elephants are expanding their range, they don't have, uh, you know, they've become bold. But unless we study the impacts of land use patterns on elephant movements, we will not be able to understand why elephants are coming to certain areas. So, this morning, one of the forest officers were actually saying that elephants were never seen in some of these villages here, or some, some place he was quoting, but the elephants started coming here. So, we really need to understand that part. So conflict, the interaction has two dimensions, you know. One is loss of life or injury. The other one is property damage or crop damage. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to solve their both with a single bullet because the reasons or circumstances, factors determining these two dimensions are very, very different. So we really need to understand the approach should be to deal with the human death issues, human death crisis is very different uh, from the uh, dealing with the property damage or crop damage instances. So I'm giving you one dimension of this. One is in these, both the landscapes, this is a snapshot of human death issues. There are 48 people lost their lives, here 59 people lost their lives. So mostly men and a uh, few women. Thing. The first thing what we asked that, where are the deaths happening? When are they happening? And who are suffering this? If you look at these two landscapes, there are certain 
factors which are common. That's certain reasons are very common. So in both these landscapes, the majority of the incidents are happening on roads. These are estate roads or main roads thing. In Valpare region, most people lost their lives between December and February. But here, such kind of monthly patterns were not seen in Hassan region. But there is no time of the day that is actually influenced the deaths, which means that any time in a day, a person may lose life. But here in Hassan region, most people lost their lives between 6 and 10 a.m. in the morning and 4 and 8 in the morning. And in both these landscapes, people who are aged between 40 and 60 lost their lives. So this is a vulnerable age class as compared to other age classes. These important, the investigating into each of those deaths, you know, identifying what are the factors influencing is very, very critical in order to come up with any measure. So we also looked at the circumstances. Look at this. You know, it's a beautiful you know, the elephant. This thing, he is called, people call him Bhima. Okay. And when Bhima is in mass, he travels through villages. And people follow him. People love him. So they try to take picture. So look at Bhima. He is so accommodative. He knows that there are people coming behind him. But he's still just moving ahead. If he turns around and slaps some guy, you know, two, three people will die. So if I am followed like that, if somebody tries to take a picture of me, I will certainly turn around and slap that guy. Okay, inviting into the privacy, you know, we don't respect the distance, we don't respect the other species, so we really need to be careful. So we analyzed the circumstances of deaths. What was under what circumstances people have lost in these two landscapes? So in both these landscapes, people encountered elephants unexpectedly. They had absolutely no idea about elephant presence and their movement in their surroundings thing. Other thing like lack of safety, safety at work, people are working in tea estates or coffee estates, but they didn't know. But these are not mutually exclusive categories, but there may be one or two reasons in this. So lack of sanitation. So today we're talking about Swachha Bharat. Yeah? And uh, we don't have toilet facilities. So people lost their lives because of lack of toilet facilities thing. Lack of street lights. You no, know, it's another major thing. And uh, of course, you know, uh, ignore warning. Some people thought that oh, I'm born and brought up here. I know how to deal with elephants. So ignoring warning have actually caused some people lost their lives. But on the whole, in both these landscapes, people lost their lives because they didn't know where the elephants were. So what should I do? In that case, so along with the state forest departments and people there, as a person, I can tell 10 people. But if I have to inform 100 other people, I need to have a certain medium or certain facility that I should be able to do this. The simplest thing is that send out messages. So we started, along with the you know, state forest departments, we started sending out text messages for people in local language. So Tamil and Kannada, in both these places. Because nowadays people are using mobile phones left, right and center. Yeah? But those people who are unable to read text messages, we started sending out voice calls to people's mobile phone numbers who shared their mobile phone numbers with us voluntarily. We never forced anybody to share their mobile phone number because it's a personal thing. The third one is the what happens if a person doesn't have a mobile phone. So with a mobile you know, mobile operated lights are installed in strategic locations so based on elephant movements and conflict sensitivity, all those things. Yeah. So those are the early warning systems. These lights can be turned on from your mobile phone thing. But turning on or off operating these lights, the responsibility was given to two people who are chosen by the people themselves. Apart from that, in Hassan region, you know, we have established um, digital information boards. These are nothing but you can, from your computer, you can send out the message in local. It says, Anagli Iwe, Echarike, which elephants are there, careful, be careful. Hmm? So these are placed at the junctions so that from there, the lots of people walk towards villages or houses. So they will get to know these things. So all these things are very simple. Okay, people can actually understand. These are not complicated things. So it's just informing people. So by that, we will be able to, we could actually develop elephant information network. You know, people started calling us and informing us that uh, there are elephants here, please send out messages. Through text, SMS text systems, thousand people can actually receive messages in a fraction of a minute. 
so that has actually sustained so far really well and people have actually cooperated uh, with the team so i really thank okay apart from that you know in tamil nadu street plays are very very famous okay yeah in karnataka karnataka also bidi nataka so street plays so we called the tv artists they come every day on tv serials they came they are helped with the people as soon as these tv artists were seen you know people so were so excited and there are professional artists who came and performed the tv uh, street plays and department has uh, ra rapid response teams and also karnataka forest department has radio colors on elephants thing so how are these collective efforts are impacting on human death instances let's look at so here the graph which indicates an average number of people for every 3 years so from since from 1994 up now okay if you see it so before we started our program an average 3 people were losing their life per year it's not the number that is important please think about this okay it's not 3 number but one person is lost the entire family is ruined entire village develop negative attitude it's becomes a tremendous amount of pressure on the forest department to capture elephants and translocate them or take them into captivity but our program started in 2002 and between 2003 and now the average is just dropped down to one and the last 3 years there has been no death no injury in walpara region so now if you go and talk to people that you know we will say the oh there's a leopard problem surita problem okay there's a sloth bear problem but people don't really crave about elephants yeah so they say that okay if messages are coming department is there so we'll take a detour if elephants are walking is in, is in a particular locality so that kind of thing has come but it took nearly 19 years yeah to reach this so what happens in uh, um <coughs> hasan which is a very challenging thing we started our work in 2015 but if you look at the average number of people lost their lives from between 2010 and 2017 end of 2017 an average five people were losing lives so we started early warning systems here and rapid response teams were also established by forest department it dropped okay 3 2 1 here yeah. but in the last for about 23 months there was in 250 monitoring village wherever there were uh, early warning systems it has zero but in the last 3 years what's happening is that lot of people died so it just because the elephants moved into you know different area people had no idea there is no early warning systems there it's still a challenging thing so what we feel is that let's not look at the animal is a problem so let's look at problem you know let us shift from problem elephant to problem location approach that's what and now understand the problem work towards the solution is a very very critical thing we always act after the incident happens no we really need to act before an incident happens and the interactions with the people and the landscape is very very important and elephant movements are very very sensitive to landscape changes let's keep that in mind and of course collective efforts are very much necessary and there are no permanent solutions please you know i don't believe in permanent solution what is permanent solution in my understanding is that either people should be there or elephant should be there that's not possible in countries like india because hundreds of elephants thousands of people interacting with each other on a daily basis so let's not talk about those kinds of things permanent solution thing but there are better solutions that can be figured it out by critically understanding scientific investigation thing thank you i would like to thank all these organizations थैंक यू सर फॉर कंक्लूडिंग ऑन टाइम तो आप लोगों ने देखा कि ऐसे दो जगह में वो लोग सर ने काम किया है हाउ साइंस वर्क हेयर एक्चुअली तो मैंने जो आप पहले से बताया कि आप लोग को ये देखना चाहिए कि कहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है ऐसी छोटी सी चीज़ हम भी कर सकते थे कि जैसे अभी वसीम अक्रम साहब ने बताया कि शहर में जब साहब घुस जाते हैं तो बंगे गए शहर में यहाँ से ज़्यादा दूर भी नहीं है हमने ये भी देखा सांप निकलते घर से अभी निपन देवना जो ककराझार से आए थे उनको कल संवर्धना किया गए लेकिन मैं ये कहना चाहता कब सांप निकलते हैं कितने बजे निकलते हैं और कौन महीने में निकलते हैं ये सब अगर जानकारी आपको मिले साइंस के जरिए तो आसान हो जाता है तो इन्होंने दिखाया कि दो जगह में एक कर्नाटक के तमिलनाडु में कैसे ये 
लगभग एक ही है एक ही एलिफेंट का जो जितना सारे किलिंग्स है एक ही नंबर जैसा है लेकिन उन्होंने देखा कि 40 साल से इकसठ साल तक लोगों ने लोगों की मृत्यु हुई थी और उनके पे देखा जो छः बजे से आठ बजे शाम को और छः सुबह ज़्यादा डेथ हुई थी और किस लिए वो भी उनको पता चल गया क्योंकि ज़्यादातर से ना जाने से जैसे हाथी ये इतना बड़ा जानवर है लेकिन आपके पीछे भी रह जाएगा लेकिन आपको पता नहीं चलेगा वो बिल्कुल धीरे चलता है और उसका आवाज एकदम नहीं निकलता है मेरे गुरु अभी बैठा हुआ है अगर जब हम पैदल चलते हैं तो आवाज इनका उनका गुस्सा आ जाता है कि एलिफेंट जैसे चलो हमेशा कहते हैं तो किसी की आवाज नहीं होना चाहिए तो ये सब साइंस इसमें है लगा हुआ है अभी जो मैसेज उन्होंने बताया कि मोबाइल फोन सबके हाथ में है तो ये कनाडा और तमिल दोनों भाषा में ये लोग अलर्ट कर देते हैं ऐसे कम आर लोग भी ऑलरेडी कर चुके हैं मैंने आपको बताना चाहता हूँ सर दे आर एन ऑलरेडी इनिशियट दिस कैन ऑफ वर्क रिगार्डिंग फ्लाट सिचुएशन बिकॉज सडनली फ्लाट काम सीन एंड पीपल इफ यू आर वेयर बिफोर दैट ओके दैट जेंजल लेवल इज क्रॉस दैन ऑटोमेटिक अलार्म बेल इज रैंग एंड द मैसेज इज गॉन आई मीन क्विकली सर्कुलेटेड सो दिस इज अ गुड पैंतालीस हजार तक लोगों को एक सूचना से बांधा जा गया है तो उसके परिणाम वो लोग ने देखा कि एक जगह में अभी तक बिल्कुल किलिंग खत्म कर दिए हैं मैं एलिफेंट का जो हादसा हुआ है नहीं हो रहा है लेकिन हसन में इसलिए है कि थोड़ा सा अभी भी लोगों को समझाने बाकी है तो ये हम लोगों ने सीखा इनके साथ लेकिन अभी आप लोगों में बांग्लादेश लेके जाना चाहता हूँ वो भी सुंदरबन एरिया में मंदर आप लोग जानते हैं जो जो बाघ है बांग्लादेश में सुंदरबन में बहुत मशहूर है तो उनके बारे में आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर बशरुल अलमून वो एक्चुअली इज ए हम लोग जैसे डी एफ यहाँ पे वो भी एक डिविजनल फॉरेस्ट ऑफिसर है और उन्होंने बहुत सारे एक काम किए उसमें से और उन्हें सिंदौर में खास तौर से काम किए और उन्होंने स्टेन कंजर्वेशन के हिसाब से भी काम किए हैं सुंदरबन से ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा वो उन्होंने कैसे लोगों के साथ काम किया और लोगों के साथ कैसे बाघ के और लोगों के साथ जो संघर्ष होता है कैसे घटाया वो उसके बारे में हम बताएं आप लोग को मालूम होगा सुंदरबन इंडिया की तरफ से भी है बांग्लादेश के तरफ से भी है तो बांग्लादेश की तरफ से जो सुंदरबन है उनके बारे में उन्होंने बताएंगे प्लीज़ वेलकम मिस्टर मामून Uh, I am starting in the name of uh, the Almighty. आपको सब स्वागत है आप सबाई के स्वागत I will be feeling uh, comfortable in uh, speaking in uh, English, but uh, sometimes I may speak in Bangla and even in Hindi also. Uh, so, how many of uh, uh, us uh, uh, do not understand Bangla? Everybody of us understand Bangla. So, it's my pleasure to uh, uh, deliver my uh, uh, speech. Uh, in and different languages thank you for your patience sharing amader bangladesh e ekta kotha ache ekhaneo thakar kotha seta hocche jokhon purnimar chand uthe tokhon tara gulo dekha jay na jokhon jishu ache tokhon sadharon manush agrutto purno hoye jay when the saviors come the mass people become uh, more mass people even uh, wasim ji uh, bahut acche balle baji kiya anand ji ne also delivered uh, very wonderful speeches so i i i came to know a lot of informations uh, from uh, different parts of india uh, আমার কথাবার্তা আপনাদের হয়তো বা ভালো নাও লাগতে পারে আপনারা আসলে মনোটোনাস ইউ হ্যাভ বিকাম বোর্ড সো আপনারা ইতোমধ্যে জানতে পেরেছেন ইউ ক্যাম টু নো অ্যাবাউট হারগিলা আর্মি ইউ ক্যাম টু নো অ্যাবাউট ল্যাঙ্গুর আর্মি বান্দর আর্মি দেন ইউ ক্যাম টু নো অ্যাবাউট এলিফেন্ট আর্মি নাও আই এম গোয়িং টু প্রেজেন্ট অন টাইগার আর্মি
so uh, the session uh, has been named uh, tiger uh, sorry uh, human wildlife interactions interactions can be both positive and negative so when it is positive it is conflict and when it is neg uh, uh, when negative it is conflict and when it is uh, positive uh, it is harmony so towards conflict to harmony what Bangladesh should part of Sundarbans have some experiences I will be going to share with you for next 15 minutes हम सब लोग जानता है बांग्लादेश पार्ट में सुंदरबन है और इंडिया पार्ट में भी है वन थर्ड ऑफ द सुंदरबन इज इन इन बांग्लादेश इन इन इंडियन पार्ट ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगल ऑलमोस्ट इन इन इंडियन पार्ट ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगल ऑलमोस्ट सिटर्स ऑफ सुंदरबन आर इन बांग्लादेशी पार्ट एंड The key uh, key stony species or flag. Species is tiger. In Bangladesh, census uh, we have found one hundred and. The Bangladesh here, when cricket ball khale. তখন সব সময় একটা ইয়া দেখা যায় দেখা যায় বাঘ টাইগার ক্রিকেট টিম ইটস এ ন্যাশনাল অ্যানিমেল অফ आवर কান্ট্রি আর সাম হেরিটেজ ইন থ্রু আউট দা কান্ট্রি আই ওয়ান্ট টু শেয়ার সাম ইনফরমেশন अबाउट সুন্দরবনস অলরেডি আই হ্যাভ মেনশনড দ্যাট দিস ইজ দা লার্জ কন্টিনিউয়াস Reserve forest in Bangladesh and constitutes almost half of the for, uh, reserve forest in uh, in Bangladesh, and uh, it has been uh, awarded uh, as a World Heritage Site and uh, uh, Ramsar Site already, and it is only remaining tiger habitat in Bangladesh. So uh, prior to uh, going uh, uh, to the discussion uh, of conflict, I want to give you some. डेटा आप लोग देख सकते हैं अठारह सौ इक्यासी साल से टू थाउजेंड तक पर ईयर पर ईयर ह्यूमेन किलिंग वॉज अराउंड ट्वेंटी 2001 फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड वन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इट हैजू टू एवरेज लेस देन इलेवन सो uh the conflict is reducing uh in uh, in other ways if you, you uh, see the number of tigers killed by the human being uh, was around 10 now it has decreased to 0.7 below 1 so what are the reasons uh, uh so uh, what are the reasons of decreasing the number of incidents before going that i want to Uh, share with you my uh, my uh, what opinion regarding uh, the causes of conflict the only cause so far my knowledge goes i think the only cause is nothing but class of interest and sometimes some other reasons uh, like uh, searching for new territories and uh, poaching or uh, some uh, uh, killing by the uh, Uh, poachers or uh, villagers also uh, this is uh, the uh, data from 2001 to uh, 2020 the numbers decreases uh, dramatic dramatically if you uh, go from up to the bottom so why Uh, the uh, conflict has uh, been reduced some of you may uh, be disagree with me that i think the uh, the one of the reasons is uh, the number of tigers is decreasing though uh, from uh, 2015 we are estimating the number of primer tiger and it has been uh, observed that uh, from 2015 to 2018 the numbers of tigers uh, have been increased and in this year we are uh, conducting uh, camera tapping and we are going to announce the result in, in next uh, june expectedly 
uh, even uh, part of other Sundarbans uh, have been declared as uh, protected areas from 22% to 52% of land has, al has already declared as uh, protected areas. And some of the initiatives taken by the government may one of the causes uh, or drivers for um, reduction of uh, the uh, conflict between tigers and humans. So here uh, is statistics regarding the tiger census. Uh, we have uh, uh, nine uh, tiger estimations. Finally, in 2020, uh, 2018, we found 114 tigers in Shundarvans. Uh, the people or uh, the resource collectors are allowed to enter into the reserve forest for collecting fishes, crabs, nipa, palms, honey, and waxes um, uh, from the forest department. And uh, here is a scenario of uh, resource extraction. Uh, sometimes birds uh, are sometimes comes at the Yeah, a trend. Uh, so finally, I have reached to my point of discussion. Apna the dekhane Hargila Hargila army ache, shundur bone ache tiger army. A tiger army tai hoche apna dekhte pachen the shundur bone a point bhi ache. A point bolo. These are uh, the petrol stations uh, around the Sundarbans, uh, 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 in the periphery of the Sundarbans, and each of the uh, stations, there, uh, there is a uh, village tiger response team. So, uh, this concept uh, was initiated uh, from a wildlife uh, uh, expert uh, Dr. Anwarul Islam and uh, from the uh, from his uh, uh, alliance wild team uh, supported uh, it, uh, under a project supported by Bangladesh Forest Department in 2006. These are uh, some uh, uh, activities of uh, forest tiger response team and emergency tiger response team. Though uh, these uh, teams works inside the forest basically. But village tiger response team works outside of the reserve forest. The goal, it is goal ki chilo. Shadaron shakol manushke a community based je organization gulo she gulo the tadar ki involve kora jate shundor bone tiger conservation ta bhalo hoy ba sustainable hoy. Shete mulo to udoshe chilo. Aar it is sab activities jodi amna bolli ba objectives bolli. Shut out today to reduce the uh, conflict between human and tiger. Basically, there are four objectives to reduce live, uh, livestock depredation by tiger, to reduce uh, retaliatory killing of tiger of the Sundarbans Reserve Forest, to decrease human suffering and loss of life due to Bengal tigers of the Sundarbans, and to decrease human sufferings and loss of the life due to man eating by Bengal tigers of the Sundarbans Reserve Forest. So the uh, characteristics of BTIT, they are uh, voluntary, uh, basically participatory and community driven and all kind of uh, uh, representations from different types is issued here. Uh, the uh, diagram, uh, some of uh, 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 diagrams are missing here, basically from different sources, uh, when the uh, village tiger response team uh, basically it con constitutes uh, consists of six to seven uh, people headed by uh, one person, his team leader. When they collect any information from uh, surroundings, they in uh, they contact with forest department or emergency tiger response team, and they take actions uh, uh, in 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 case of any tiger stray or any, in, in case of any conflict happening uh, across the border of the Sundarbans. Mm. Uh, nowadays, uh, the village tiger response teams, they are uh, getting uh, some training from some other organizations, from the government even, 
uh, and other uh, elephant response teams, or dolphin response team, they have uh, close interactions with uh, those teams. And recently, an operational procedure has been developed by the Bangladesh Forest Department. And they have also a good relation with some other co-management organizations working uh, across uh, the Shundarbans uh, reserve forest, especially uh, outside of the uh, reserve forest. Uh, this is the achievement of BTRT from uh, 2006 to till 30 state tigers incidents uh, have been dealt by the BTRT. They uh, used to, uh, they, uh, uh, they uh, become successful to manage the situations and recovered 27 dead bodies from the tiger victims, rescued and uh, set free three tigers and 352 other wild animals. And they uh, provided uh, first aid to seven injured tigers and uh, they helped forest department in case of 12 fire incidents. And there, one of the uh, biggest achievement is uh, they received a award, that means a Wildlife Conservation Award in 2017 from, uh, from uh, our Prime Minister. So they are doing some uh, activities uh, regarding the awareness uh, in the peripheries of Sundarban regions. Even they are giving training to the forest department staffs who are new to the uh, uh, to the Shundarban areas. Even they uh, they are uh, training the resource collectors who interest into the reserve forest and faces tigers sometimes. Uh, uh, from the uh, uh, chart, you can uh, just understand about the overall achievement. Uh, the left one, uh, the human death. Uh, this is before the formation of wild uh, BTIT and after the uh, activity start from 2010, uh, it's sharply reduced. Here is also slightly reduced and tiger death has also been reduced here. Some challenges are there, uh, uh, like uh, the forest department staffs uh, in Assam, I think. Uh, the staffs of the forest department are transferable uh, then it's uh, sometimes uh, difficult to communicate with BTIT members in case of any tiger stray uh, uh, in the villages. And uh, some regulatory activities, there is not challenges. Actually, we have already uh, formulated uh, some guidelines, but uh, uh, the uh, dissemination or uh, the capacity building uh, should, uh, should be done. So, so we are... Uh, going to take uh, for uh, uh, building some um, uh, nylon fencing around uh, the peripheries of Sundarbans. Uh, Bangladesh Tiger Action Plan has already uh, prepared and conflict tiger management guidelines has, has already been formulated. Uh, some activities regarding the habitat development, capacity building of forest department steps and alternative livelihood support should be uh, should be taken. And some lessons learned that Amna Jita Bodhi, the BTRT, a bag among Manushet the Dondo, Shita, common or Ketre, Halwak, Bhumika Palon Kurche. They are playing very significant role in erection of tiger and human conflict. Are Shadaran Manushet, Angshukonta Kubi Dorkar. It is very important to, uh, in, uh, to involve the local people in, in, in case of. Uh, conservation of wildlife. It is our learning. Our uh, dedicated staff That's why we are thinking that a, a different body shall be constituted inside the uh, wildlife department or forest department. And sufficient alloc allocation is also required. Finally, I can say uh, BTRT has become the toss bearers in the darkness. So uh, uh, these are the successes I have been uh, brought from Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you for your passion sharing for me. Uh, uh, hope I will uh, be what meeting again uh, with you in sometimes in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, but you, <coughs> particularly, uh,
स्पेशल थैंक्स टू मिस्टर मामून बिकॉज ही स्पोक इन हिंदी एज वेल ही स्पोक इन बांग्ला एज वेल सो आप लोग को समझ में आया होगा कि मुझे ये सबसे बढ़िया है बी टी जो विलेज टाइगर रेस्पॉन्स टीम है और फिर इमरजेंसी विलेज इमरजेंसी टाइगर रेस्पॉन्स टीम है दोनों के साथ जरूरत के और एक कंसेप्ट उन्होंने दिया है टाइगर विडो जितने सारे लोग बाघों के मृत्यु हुई अपने परिवार लोगों के उनके साथ भी जुड़े हुए काम किए हैं तो एक अच्छा उदाहरण भी है हम काफ़ी देखे हैं हाथी के साथ भालू के साथ कुछ अभी हम बुलाना चाहते हैं डॉक्टर रविचंद्रन एक्चुअली आपको समंदर के उस तरफ ले जाएंगे अंदामान निकबर के उस तरफ कुंभीर के साथ हम देखते हैं क्या करते हैं लोग एक्चुअली दैट्स व्हाई वी जस्ट लाइक टू इनवाइट मिस्टर के रविचंद्रन विज आई एफ एस सो इज डिरेक्टर इन आई एफ एम भोपाल एक्चुअली एंड ही इज टू डू द फर्स्ट ओनली वन एक्चुअली द प्लानिंग इन अंडमान एंड इज द फर्स्ट मैनेजमेंट प्लान एंड and he was posted there so he was a call investigator for developing two eucalyptus chemodulensis clones also so he has been having both conservation effort as well as the scientific research blended together so that is why we would be very much help i mean eagerly waiting for his lecture please sir uh thank you so much uh, respected uh, executive member of forest revenue and executive member and my friend and batchmate uh, suman magapatra professor asad rahmani and commandant parag from ssb dear students participants my co panelist indeed this 2 and 1/2 hours of waiting is so rewarding I reached last night at three o'clock. For the last fifteen days or so, I am continuously traveling, and now I feel whatever travel I have done so far, it's very meaningful, and it is very rewarding for me. So that way, I am very fortunate to listen right from Purnima to Biswas, Wasim Khan, Anand Kumar, and Wasim Rul. so everybody contributed immensely to one thing what is that yes when it comes to human animal interactions there are problems and how best we can manage for that we have to come out with strategies many of them had their own way of uh, looking at things and they have come out with excellent strategies right from awareness generation to creating a canopy walk for uh, golden langur and uh, anand kumar talked about the corridor uh, management in case of elephants and all those things mm -hmm. since looking at professor asad raghumani i thought uh, how i introduce andaman nicobar islands to the audience here yesterday i am sure in his lecture he might have touched upon andaman because he has worked in andaman uh, to a larger extent just for the audience perspective i just want to so how to move the slide oh, okay okay just for the students interest i want to tell you that when the interactions are positive there are no issues when the interactions are negative there comes the conflict so why there is a conflict when the needs of wildlife impact negatively on the human beings and the needs of human beings impact negatively on the wildlife there exists a conflict how best we can manage there are n number of strategies so we will be talking about those strategies in the coming slides people feel that needs or values of wildlife are given priority over their own needs or when the local institutions and people are inadequately inadequately empowered to address such conflicts the issue is there so how to deal with that i just take you to andaman nicobar islands through one particular incident species crocodile 
how we have come out with a robust management mitigation action plan. And through this, I want to emphasize the need for creating a management action plan by involving the all stakeholders, right from researchers, academicians, civil societies, and everybody. Till 2004, we in Andamans, we were managing our tropical forest, the coastal and marine belt, and we were involved in the overall management. Suddenly, after tsunami, what we felt, the, the issue of crocodile emerged. All our beaches, which are excellent tourist spots, have crocodile presence. So because of that, the tourism industry has gone down. So when the tourism industry has gone down, there is a hue and cry among the people, among the industrialists, among the hoteliers. Because tourism and fisheries are the money spending uh, areas for Andaman Nicobar Islands. So when the tourism gets a jolt, then you have to respond. Then we looked at the issues very seriously and we found that the crocodile population in wild, it is not only confined only to Andaman Nicobar Islands, it extends up to Australia, Timor, Vanuatu, and all those places. And whatever solution which you are going to provide at Andaman Nicobar Island, it is not going to be the wholesome or holistic uh, solution. Because any problem crocodiles which you re remove from the wild and keep it in the rescue and rehabilitation center as Wasim has talked about, that area going to be filled up with species from adjoining uh, places. So the problem is going to remain. So how to address that? So in fact, at one point of time, we felt that it is not possible to address this. At least, you no, know, we requested the government of India to remove this crocodile from Schedule 1 and bring it to other schedules so that to deal with the species very effectively. But government of India, what it did, it constituted a task force to look into the uh, crocodile management in Andaman Nicobar Islands. And the, we have come out with uh, a robust management plan looking at the whole gamut of issues, right from the habitat, right from uh, the research needs, the uh, prey needs for uh, crocodile, and we have come out. We identified 83 creeks, nalas, which are so vulnerable to crocodile, and we have graded these uh, nalas as most vulnerable moderately vulnerable vulnerable and least vulnerable categories and we started uh, managing this uh, oh, again it's coming back managing this um, crocodiles in their respective areas so all the creeks have been mapped and we put one joint patrolling team which involves not only the forest department personnel from the police side from the panjaj side and from the civil society side so all these 83 creeks have been monitored round the clock in case if any presence of crocodile is found in that area no free zone where crocodiles are found in the beaches and areas habitation areas we remove them capture them and relocate them safely in other areas so this is how we start. where the tourists are uh, uh, largely focused up to North Andaman. So in all these places, we put this JPT and we started working on this. Areas wherever the red marking is there, where if crocodile found it. These are some of the things where no, the pink areas we marked and how we monitored. So we look at the direct evidences, we look at the mud flats where crocodile movements are there or not, we look at the slide the claw marks in order to know the presence or absence of crocodile. And we also did a census. 
what is the actual population what is the size of populations which we need to deal with so we found that nearly 355 crocodiles were there at one point of time in 2016 now the population has slightly increased when we look at the population normally you know the crocodiles you know they found in three four areas one is the nesting area nesting areas wherever dry leaves are there sukha patti hai to wo jahan mein male ka presence jyada hai where dry moss mossy land hai thoda dry ho gaya hai udhar to males and female dono mil, mil sakta hai and wet moss kahan daldal hai वो जहां में पक्का फीमेल्स मिलेगा सो so, ये बेसिस में हम लोगों क्या है एक क्रोकोडाइल का आइडेंटिफाई भी कराया वो हिसाब से हम लोगों का काम शुरू करा एंड वंस यू नो द क्रोकोडाइल हाउ टू कैप्चर देम दैट वाज अ बिग चैलेंज फॉर अस एंड नो वी रीच आउट टू मेड्रास क्रोकोडाइल बैंक वी रीच आउट टू वाइल्ड लाइफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया आर द स्पीसी स्पेशलिस्ट ग्रुप ऑन क्रोकोडाइल एंड नन ऑफ देम हैव गिवन अस अ परमानेंट सोल्यूशन हाउ टू डिजाइन अज we have tigers leopards and all these species but when it comes to crocodile so nobody had thought of what should be the design of crocodile cages through trial and error we started working on with the communities particularly the people who had come from assam people who had come from west bengal and orissa they helped us in creating the design of crocodile uh, um, cages and we deployed them in all the nalas and uh, creeks which are cl in close proximity with the villages so this is a, even now at times now we have created a floating uh, cage using the drums and the issue so we started no talking to villages through public address system uh, that time mobile uh, though mobile penetration was there in andaman nicobar islands but the connectivity was so poor so because of that now people are using in this uh, sms alert and all those things but in those days you no know, we used to rely on uh, our own uh, people to the other major point is when a conflict occurs there will be a crowd how to manage the crowd crowd management is a major issue and unless you manage the crowd properly then again that creates a conflict so crowd management is another issue so in one incident at manpur where no thousands of people gathered one crocodile killed one uh, elderly person and when we rescued the crocodile by the time you now the crocodile was also killed by them and we removed them sometimes no we capture the crocodiles live hmm wo crocodile ko hum log capture karke usko kya hai hum bahut dur dusra island mein laake deta hai dalta hai uske liye hum log kya karta hai we use the guard coast guard indian navy un logon ka services ko leke wo capture karega capture karne ke baad achhi tarah se bandhega bandhne ke baad truck mein leke jayega ट्रक में लेके जाके बोट में चढ़ाएगा वो बोट से लेके बहुत दूर जाके विद द हेल्प ऑफ गोस्ट गार्ड वी रिलीज एंड नो व्हेन द क्रोकोडाइल इज रिलीज्ड वी नो कैप्चर देम पुट सम मार्क्स इन द टेल पोर्शन सो दैट टू आइडेंटिफाई वो सेम क्रोकोडाइल वापस बट 99% दिस क्रोकोडाइल्स कम बैक टू दैट एरिया उनका क्या है साइट फ्रेंडिटी ज्यादा है नहीं है अभी रिसर्चर्स आर वर्किंग ऑन दैट बाय पुटिंग सम कॉलर्स एंड रेडियो टेलीमेट्री एंड अदर थिंग्स बट वापस आ जाता है वी हैव सीन फिर उसको कैसा डील उठा दिया नहीं तो आदमी को माल कर दिया आदमी को किल कर दिया वो क्रोकोडाइल को हम सीधा उठा के हमारा रेस्क्यू रिहेबिलिटेशन सेंटर में डाल देता है बट other crocodiles which are seen in the human habitation area or beaches or coastal areas usko pakad ke hum dur island mein bechta hai then iske alawa hum kya kara sabhi villages mein there are about uh, 172 villages in andaman nicobar islands at that point of time har village mein ja ke logon ke sath baithna unke upar ek awareness generate kar 
रहा है उनका हिस्ट्री भी लिया है उन लोगों क्या है अंदमान से कब से है वेदर दे आर ओल्ड पीपल आर रिसेंटली सेटल्ड पीपल वो भी देखा है सो so, उन लोगों को पूरा सेंसिटाइजेशन बंगला में तमिल में मलयालम में हिंदी में हम लोगों क्या है उसको लैंग्वेज में पोस्टर्स ए वगैरह करके उन लोगों से बातचीत करके उसको एक आवे प्रॉब्लम थोड़ा कंट्रोल में आया कंट्रोल में आने के बाद हम क्या करा है ये लेवल में ऐसी इसको छोड़ो तो ये एक प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है इसको वाई नॉट बी डेवलप एन एस ओ पी स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर आप प्रोकोडेल का कहीं भी देख लिया क्या डिपार्टमेंट एम्प्लॉ और एस ए जॉइंट पेट्रोलिंग टीम इसको बारे में हम लोग जोरदार करके फिर क्या करा है एक स्ट्रैटेजी एंड एक्शन प्लान हम लेके आया ये जरूरत है आज का दिन में आपका क्या है कोई भी जानवर ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट को आप अच्छी तरह से डील करना है अच्छी तरह से मेंटेन करना है ये प्रयास होना चाहिए आपके पास एक ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मिटिकेशन एक्शन प्लान जरूर रहना है ये प्लान हमेशा एवरी ईयर और वंस इन टू ईयर्स इसको आप रिवाइज करते रहना है लुकिंग एट द लोकल कंडीशंस आपका क्या है स्टेट लेवल में एक एक्शन प्लान होना चाहिए डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल में एक एक्शन प्लान होना चाहिए स्टेट लेवल में एक कोऑर्डिनेशन टीम का जरूरत पड़ेगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल में एक कोऑर्डिनेशन टीम का जरूरत पड़ेगा देन क्या है क्रॉस सेक्टोरल लिंकेजेस इंटर गवर्नमेंटल एजेंसी के साथ भी आप कोऑर्डिनेट करना पड़ेगा सो so, वो हिसाब से आपका प्रॉब्लम को डील करने के लिए एक ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ आप इंटरेक्शन बोल दीजिए और कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बोल दीजिए उसके लिए एक मिटिगेशन मैनेजमेंट प्लान का जरूरत है अभी ना अभी मॉर्निंग से अभी कितना लोगों बात करा है कि पूर्णिमा से लेके मोहम्मद असरुल से इन लोगों का बात से चार चीज आपका सामने नजर आया है एक दो ये इशू को क्या ड्राइवर्स है वॉट आर द ड्राइव फैक्टर्स क्या क्या कारण से ये इशू हमारा सामने आ रहा है ये ड्राइवर ये ये इशू नेक्स्ट स्टेज में लेके जाता है वो प्रेशर दबाव डालेगा वो हम लोगों का एक दबाव में आएगा आप तब तक वो दबाव में आएगा प्रेशर आपको दबाव में लेके जाएगा दबाव आपको क्या है वो सिचुएशन वो कंडीशन को ऊपर लेके जाएगा देन वो सिचुएशन वो स्टेट आपको क्या है एक इम्पैक्ट में लेके जाएगा वो इम्पैक्ट पॉजिटिव होएगा ज़्यादातर नेगेटिव होएगा उसको डील करने के लिए आपके पास मैनेजमेंट प्लान का जरूरत है सो so, ड्राइवर्स बहुत लोगों बात करा है हैबिटेट लॉस है देन पॉपुलेशन का संख्या हम लोगों का संख्या बढ़ रहा है उसके बारे में देन अप्रिशिएशन वाइल्ड लाइफ जानवर का ऊपर ना ज़्यादा अप्रिशिएशन नहीं है उनका नॉलेज नहीं है बोल के ये बहुत सारा इशूस रहेगा उसके डील करने के लिए आपके पास क्या रिस्पॉन्स होना चाहिए ये चार चीज ड्राइवर प्रेशर स्टेट एंड इम्पैक्ट ये चारों का आप संभालना है कैसा आप संभालेगा वही तो ए मैनेजमेंट प्लान है वो रिस्पॉन्स है आपका मैनेजमेंट प्लान का रूप का मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रैटेजी का रूप का रूप में मैनेजमेंट एक्टिविटीज का रूप में वो आएगा उसमें आप रिस्पॉन्स अच्छा होना चाहिए बोलो तो आप क्या क्या चीज देखना है आपका रिस्पॉन्स एकदम तकड़ा है अच्छा है उसके लिए आपके पास क्या चाहिए आपके पास एक अच्छा तालमेल होना चाहिए स्टेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मशीनरी के साथ डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मशीनरी के साथ लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मशीनरी के साथ नेशनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मशीनरी के साथ एक तालमेल अच्छा है बोलो तो आपका रिस्पॉन्स भी अच्छा होएगा देन ये चीज़ को देखने के लिए ये चीज़ को डील करने के लिए आपके लिए रिसोर्स का जरूरत पड़ेगा वो रिसोर्स कहाँ से आप लेके आ सकता है उसके लिए फाइनेंस फाइनेंस का जरूरत है तब तक रिसोर्स नहीं है आप ये चीज़ को अच्छी तरह से डील नहीं कर पाएंगे देन क्या है आपको कोऑपरेशन पार्टनर्स अभी हमारा लर्नर्ड मॉडरेटर साहब बताता रिसर्च एक इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ सच मैनेजमेंट
पॉइंट इन हैविंग अ रोबस्ट रिस्पॉन्स मैकेनिज्म सो देन उसके लिए वो रिसर्च करने के लिए हु आर द पीपल कौन कौन है हमारा पार्टनर हो सकता है अभी ना आनंद कुमार का स्लाइड लास्ट स्लाइड आप देखो तो उसमें क्या है कम से कम ही पुट टेन पार्टनर्स इन स्टडीज सो आपका क्या है पार्टनर का जरूरत है वो रिसर्च पार्टनर के साथ आप मिलके आप अच्छा रिसर्च करिए देन क्या है कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग डिपार्टमेंट का अंदर खुद का इंडिविजुअल का अंदर कैपेसिटी का जरूरत है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेरियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन्वॉल्व इन ये ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में कौन कौन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उनका कैपेसिटी भी होना चाहिए इवन रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का कैपेबिलिटी भी आपको बढ़ाना चाहिए वो सिस्टम को भी एक होना चाहिए ऐसा आप करो तो आपको क्या है ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट को आप आसान से हम फेस कर सकता है आसान से डील कर सकता है माननीय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ये चीज़ को सोच के क्या करा है एक ह्यूमन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मिटिगेशन एक्शन प्लान एक लेके आया है ये 2021 से लेके 2026 तक रिसेंटली लास्ट ईयर इन 2022 वाज इट वाज रिलीज इसमें क्या है जीएजेड जर्मन इंटरनेशनल डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी के साथ मिलके तीन स्टेट में कर्नाटका राजस्थान एंड उत्तराखंड है पांच से साल का रिसर्च करके उसके बेसिस में एक नेशनल वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट प्लान लेके आया है वो प्लान का बेसिस में हम स्टेट में भी प्लान कर सकता है इसके अलावा हर स्पीसीज का एक गाइडलाइंस बनाया है आप टाइगर भी बोल दीजिए लेपर्ड भी बोल दीजिए एलिफेंट भी बोल दीजिए वो सब का क्या है एक ह्यूमन एनिमल कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मिटिगेशन प्लान हमारा सामने है भारत सरकार एक नेशनल नॉलेज पोर्टल ऑन ह्यूमन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट का ऊपर लेके आया है आप किसी को भी क्या है उसको ऊपर जानकारी चाहिए बोलो तो यू हिट द पोर्टल एंड यू गेट ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन सो आज का दिन में आपका कोई भी वाइल्ड लाइफ का बारे में कोई भी वाइल्ड लाइफ का प्रॉब्लम को फेस करने में ये नॉलेज पोर्टल आपको मदद में आएगा देन आप ये ये देखो तो ये डैशबोर्ड भी है उसमें आप भी कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन आप डाल सकता है बोलो तो आप ना डाल सकता है उसमें क्या है आपको सूचना भी जरूरत है बोलो तो वो सूचना भी मिल सकता है ये खास तौर से ये बोलने के लिए एक ही है हम अपना स्टेट भी अभी हमारा बॉर्डरलैंड टेरिटोरियल रीजन में भी वी शुड हैव आज का दिन में वाइल्ड लाइफ रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम्स आर नॉट मेनी बट आने वाला समय में कैसा ये टर्न होएगा बोल के आपको मालूम नहीं सो so, इसीलिए टू प्रिपेयर अवर सेल्फ फॉर द फ्यूचर सो यू नीड टू हैव अ रोबस्ट मिटिगेशन एक्शन प्लान अभी इतना गैलेक्सी ऑफ रिसर्चर्स है आपके साथ में ये लोगों का रखे हमारा प्रोफेसर भी है वो भी ना आसाद रघमानी साहब का स्टूडेंट है बोल के सुनने के बाद आर भी मेरे को उम्मीद है इन लोगों का रखे एक आप अच्छा एक मिटिगेशन एक्शन प्लान को प्रिपेयर करिए उसको रखिए वो चीज़ आपके लिए आने वाला समय में ऐसा इशू को डील करने में मदद में आएगा आ, मौका देने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार बहुत धन्यवाद सर आपने तो मेरा काम आसान कर दिया सर प्लीज प्लीज बी सीटेड सर प्लीज बी सीटेड सर इतना समय रह गया तो और दो, दो बैठ जाइए सर प्लीज प्लीज ऐसे जा नहीं सकते आप नहीं ये मीटिंग जरूरी ज्यादा है आपका रहना पड़ेगा और मैं इसके बीच में देवासी चक्रवर्ती जो आई एफ ऑफिसर हैं अभी सेवानिवृत्त है वो दो मिनट के वीडियो दिखाना चाहते हैं इसके बारे में अभी जो हम रविचंद्र साहब ने मेरा काम आसान कर दिया इसीलिए कि वो समाज कर दिया पूरे चीज कि मेडिकेशन जो प्रोसीजर है मेडिकेशन एक्सप्लेन बनाना पड़ता है सर प्लीज आइए हाँ भाई आई विल टेक जस्ट टू मिनट एज अ साइड इवेंट्स उसके बाद हम कल से इंटरेक्शन में कर, कर रहे थे कि वी आर एट क्रॉस कटिंग सेशन एंड वी नीड ए ग्लोबल एक्शन मुझे सुबह ये प्रेजेंटेशन देखने के बाद लगा कि देखते हैं विदाउट नोइंग हम लोग बिना जान के कैसे कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में घुस There is no human. It is 
is 3000 kilometers from the mainland G7 and 90 countries have promised that we'll make a nature positive world by 2050 kindly i'll show it two minutes video and mind it uh, my, i will request all the students to keep it in your mind ye 3000 km dur hai locality se and see the effect how we are associated thank you very much and munio madam i got the information that in guwahati university also hargila ka nesting mila hai so you start recruiting your uh, army from guwahati university also because head of department of zoology guwahati university has informed it thank you man yeah. i was talking to amani sir they are expanding everywhere now we have a very good population and you know, a new colony in yes. noga also in a different area and uh, yeah they are expanding everywhere so right. i'm really right. thank you so much in guwahati also it makes yeah. my have your so army thank you sir. Thousand kilometers away from the habitation. Audio, audio. The headphone mode. Thank <laughs> you.